Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I'll show you how to test the Dwarf Lab UHC astronomy filter and find out if it transmits also the H alpha wavelength that is very important to astrophotography because it is emitted by most emission nebulas in the night sky. I decided to make this test because due to some fabrication errors a low transmission rate at the H alpha wavelength was reported for some of the filters from the first batch that was sent with the Dwarf 2 telescope. Before I will begin the filter test, I want to mention that this problem was taken seriously by Dwarf Lab and they took fast measures. First, they contacted immediately the filter supplier to find what happened and also now all the UHC filters sold by Dwarf Lab will be tested before leaving the factory. If you receive one of these defect filters, you can contact the Dwarf Lab and you'll get a replacement as fast as possible. It seems I also got a defective filter and after informing Dwarf Lab, I was told that I will receive soon a new one. I think the filters received up to January 2023 may contain some of these defective filters. I also asked a friend that received the Dwarf 2 Deluxe package in February his filter seems to be fine. Now let's see how to test fast an USC filter from Dwarf Lab without having a spectrometer. After chatting with Dwarf Lab, I got a fast method of testing by simply looking through the filter. Our contrast test results in qualified filter colors will be light green and those that are not qualified will be bluish. This was the message that Dwarf Lab sent me. This method is really fast and easy to perform. Dwarf Lab wrote in their first response regarding these defective filters. If you find your stacked M42 image gets fewer details with the USC filter than without the filter, contact us at hello around dwarflab.com with the attachments of the comparative shots you take and email the title Dwarf Lab USC replacement request. I think now they will accept also an image with the USC filter taken in natural light, like the one I recently showed you. To be sure, you can also make a 5 minutes test under the stars. You can select the Orion Nebula or other emission nebula in the sky and take a short plan of 10 images without the filter and another plan of 10 images with the filter on. Then make a print screen on the phone with both images and compare or download them to the PC and make a side by side comparison. If the live stack taken without the filter has more visible red color compared with the image with the filter, then the USC is defective. Here is an example side by side and we can see that in my image with the USC filter the red color emitted in H alpha wavelength is not visible. In this situation my advice is not to use the USC filter anymore until you get a replacement from Dwarf Lab. Conclusions. Do you still need to worry about getting a defective USC filter? I would say no. Because, as I mentioned in the first part, Dwarf Lab was serious in resolving this issue. It will replace all defective filters that were sent, and now all the filters that will be produced by their supplier will be also verified before leaving the factory. Having some filter problems in the beta testing period that were resolved shows that Dwarf Lab is serious about customer service. Making also the fast updates and improvements of this product, I believe Dwarf Lab keeps its promise of delivering a great product for the price. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and if you want to see also how I clean the Dwarf Lab lenses and filters, do not miss the next video. I'll see you soon and till next time, clear sky.